Hey friends, how are you? Welcome inside the AQC 707 Jetway. And what do we got going on in here? Just some really, really cool stuff because remember it's 1968. This is a car that was never built, never manufactured, didn't have all the big corporations, a bunch of designs behind it. There's just a couple guys down here at a factory in Arkansas making something. And how do you heat something this giant? How do you cool something this giant if it's 1968? So when this thing came in and, you know, didn't really think much about it, we see these little, you know, air holes in the sill panels. And I just assumed since it was more or less Home Depot style aluminum plating, you know, that was probably just a little design feature they put in it. But the more we started to tear into the jetway, we realized there's almost a heating and a cooling system. So behind me is a heating and an AC unit. Of course, this girl isn't hooked up here, but you know, it's February. You got a bunch of people in here. You're up in Michigan. You're rolling over to the airport and it's cold. So kick the heat on. And of course, all of our seats are in here, all 15 rows of luxury. Um, heat's gonna run up into here. You got yourself a little heated armrest. Heat starts working its way down. And it's gonna basically come out, you know, very nice underneath the floor, not overpowering. And it's helping heat this whole thing. Um, so to me, to be a 1960s is designed to A, have a heated armrest, B, have heat coming out your floor back here and not taking up any space and still having, so remember the jetway is all about having luxury, not having all these grates underneath your floor. I think it's a really cool design. So with this being an exposed, you know, heat's coming through, it's gonna be hot, it's gonna burn you. Just wrap, a little bit of insulation in here, boom. It's like the modern day heated floors, we were doing this in 1968 for your armrest. I love it. So besides having a heated armrest, underneath our floor, which luckily, as you can tell, has some access, there's our hoses running back in a channel tucked under the floor. And it might seem like a very simple design to a lot of you. I agree it's a simple design, but I think, you know, I love the forethought of this in 1968. How to make this so luxurious that you are A, still hidden, and B, from the side, you're not seeing all those hoses hanging down under the car. There's not a big, uh, you know, there's not like a big old exhaust or something hanging out. It's all tucked up against the floor. So your coolant or whatever other stuff you're smoking in the 60s is running underneath your floor, coming back up into here, heating your armrest, heating your floors, keeping your side profile, your jetway, you know, very clean. As we tear apart our jetway, we keep learning all the little nuances, all the intricacies of what made this jetway so special. And, you know, each time we tear into it more, some really cool stuff. So we just wanted to share that with you. You know, it's a really cool design feature, 1968 Jetway. And as we become the leading experts of the Jetways in the Northeast Ohio Chapter Club of Jetways, we're proud to share that with you. So we've got tons more footage, tons more videos coming up to the Jetway. Um, any questions, just let us know. Thank everyone for all the support. We really appreciate it. Um, you know, had some people popping in from Iceland and Finland and stuff. That's awesome. The videos are traveling this far. You know, super appreciative. Really nice to meet you folks. Thank you.